Zamindari system abolition. Zamindari means a man of the land or landlord. They were sort of a micro king who ruled their small territory by collecting taxes, running a court to resolve disputes, maintaining a military and building palaces. In most cases, they had to share a big chunk of their taxes with the lord above them, possibly a local king. Just like you would pay income taxes to a government, you will pay taxes to your local zamindari. Some sort of a zamindari system was always there in most parts of the world. In India, the zamindari system was created by the Mughals who replaced the earlier tax collection system and appointed their own collectors. These collectors were responsible for the local law and order. Unless things got worse, they would not call the king and its troops to maintain the local order. East India Company and British Crown tried to keep existing systems as much as possible. They didn't remove the Mughal appointed Zamindari in the north, but rather made these Zamindars pay taxes to them. This is how India was so easily taken over. Since the Zamindars helped maintain law and order, British were able to rule without bringing a lot of Englishmen. In the south, where the Mughals didn't really rule, the Zamindari system was not strong. Thus, the Britishers used the Rotwari system. Roads means farmers. In the new system, the farmers directly paid their taxes to the government through collectors. Zamindari system is practically monarchy. After independence, states started abolishing the system starting from Uttar Pradesh and then Madras and so on. Restricting the hold on the feudal class on land was the main objective of the abolition of Zamindari system. This is one of the most important land reforms. In the year 1955, a committee was formed under the leadership of the ex-vice president of e India, B.D. Chatti. This committee made certain recommendations towards bringing about land reforms. The committee recommended that every family should be given maximum 116 acres dry land and 27 acres irrigated land. These recommendations helped the wealthy. These recommendations were implemented in 1957 but did not change the existing system in a decisive manner.